my great pleasure to be here. Hello and good morning. Nice to see everyone has uh, recovered from last night's event. My name is Aran. I'm a Weizmann scientist now. But before I became a scientist, I practiced medicine at a major gastroenterology department in Israel. There, I met and treated many patients suffering from dangerous gut infections, from uncontrolled inflammation, including a disease you probably heard about called Crohn's disease, and colorectal cancer. In most cases, this disease involved an improper function of our immune system. These were very frustrating times for me, because at the time, we did not have any good way to fix our immune system in order to offer a good cure for our patients. So I decided to change course in my career and devote the rest of it to becoming a scientist studying the immune system. Immunology. The amazing science exploring our immune system, which is composed of cells, antibodies, natural antibiotics, genes, and uh, pathways that keep us safe from life-threatening infection. Our immune cells swim throughout our body at, during our entire life, serving as gatekeepers against any outside dangers. When our immune system malfunctions, our life is at risk uh, of developing infection and injury. When our immune system overreacts, we develop autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and psoriasis. Take, for example, a very rare disease which you probably have never heard about. Corona. Caused by a small virus that has changed our lives during the past two and a half years. Coronavirus, or COVID, the disease it causes, is in fact an immune-mediated disease. The millions of people around the world who are dying of COVID do not die from the virus itself, but they actually die from the uncontrolled, uncontrolled immune response against the virus, which eventually destroys their lungs. Vaccination against COVID, which I'm sure all of you have taken, I hope, is aimed at accurately tuning our immune system to eliminate the virus right when it hits our body. You'll hear more about our fight against COVID from Professor Gabi Barabash um, in, a few, um, in a few presentations. But I'm here to tell you today that immunology is even more exciting than I have anticipated when I started studying it over 15 years ago. In the past five years, we came to realize that the immune system plays important roles in diseases that were never thought to be immune, such as neurodegenerative disease, metabolic disease, and even cancer. And harnessing our immune system can be used as an innovative treatment to treat and prevent these common diseases. We call it systems immunology, and Weizmann scientists are at the forefront of this global effort. Meet, for example, Professor Ido Amit from our systems immunology department. Ido is studying the immune system at a single cell resolution. It is as science fiction as it sounds. Ido takes immune cells apart, literally one by one by one, and studies what makes these cells tick, just like the insides of a sophisticated clock. And when Ido used this groundbreaking single cell technology to study Alzheimer's disease, he stumbled upon a major discovery, and he found a group of new immune cells in the brain called microglia. These are the cells you see revolving around the brain here in our cartoon that normally act as vacuum cleaners by cleaning out debris that accumulates around nerve cells in our brain. Ido's team looked at the genetic program that makes these cells function. And they were amazed to find that in Alzheimer's disease, these vacuum cleaners of the brain do not function normally, resulting in an accumulation of debris that leads to cognitive decline. By finding ways to fine-tune the immune system, Ido's team corrects the function of these immune cells 
to slow down Alzheimer's. Immunotherapy for Alzheimer's, science fiction until just three years ago, but our scientists are on it. Meet another one of our systems immunology scientists, Dr. Ifat Merbo. Ifat is a biochemist who studies the ways by which our living cells get rid of old and defective proteins. The cell's specialized garbage cans are called proteosomes. These are these convoluted structures that you see revolving on your screen. Without such garbage disposal system, our cells would eventually fill up with trash and all die. Nothing immune here, right? Not exactly. If Art has recently discovered that these specialized garbage cans of the cells, these, in, these uh, proteasomes, are in fact critical in maintaining our proper immune function. When these garbage cans inside our cells are unable to dispose of one particular type of cellular trash, the immune system overreacts and causes a systemic autoimmune disease called lupus. An amazing discovery, take my word for it. You can see here two lupus patients with their characteristic malar or butterfly rash. This is a horrible disease. Ifat is now working on developing a blood test that would look at the content of people's cellular trash and can tell if they're at risk of developing lupus. Her team is also developing new ways to fix the garbage cans in treating this cureless human disease. And then there is Ronnie Dahan. Ronnie's group studies the interaction of our immune system with cancer. Immunity in cancer? Well, you may be surprised to know that cancer immunotherapy represents the biggest revolution in cancer therapy in decades and in some cases can cure patients that would otherwise be sent to palliative care. In fact, the Nobel Prize was awarded just four years ago for the two, to the two persons who discovered the first such cancer immunotherapy. Ronnie has developed a new immunotherapy approach that unleashes the explosive power of our immune system by invigorating it so it can effectively eliminate tumors. His treatment enables a coordinated activity of different immune cells that all fight and eliminate cancer together. These are these uh, green cells that you see on your screen that are attacking cancer cells and killing them. Ronnie's new treatment is like, an, uh, is like adding um, an experienced conductor to an orchestra to make it play in harmony. And this new cancer immunotherapy is already entering clinical trial in terminal cancer patients who do not respond to any other available treatment. And now you may ask, what do you study? What do I study? <laughs> well, I, I would say that I study the, the world's uh, maybe less good-smelling aspects of human physiology. Uh, and if you didn't get it, uh, some people here call me a poop scientist. Um, I study the microbiome. The large population of bacteria that lives within and around our body from the moment we are born until the moment we die. Our microbes live in perfect harmony with our body and contribute to its proper function. In the gut, they help us with absorption. On our skin, they help us to heal wounds. And in the female reproductive tract, they prevent infection and enable healthy reproduction. In fact, we have an equal number of human cells and bacterial cells in our body. And when we count the genes, we have over 100 times more bacterial genes in our body as compared to our human genes, making each and every one of you here in this room mostly a bacterium. But what makes the microbiome special, at least in my view, is its critical importance to our immune system and some special functions that it performs. For example, I'm sure many of you know that people who start smoking cigarettes tend to become leaner than those who do not smoke. But smokers who quit smoking develop a very severe form of obesity. Some of these uh, smoking cessation people may gain over 10 kilos in the first month after smoking cessation. We recently discovered that chemicals released from the body of human and animal model smokers 
from cigarette smoke change the function of our gut microbes. When these people quit smoking, the altered gut microbes release small compounds that instruct our immune cells in the fat tissue to promote weight gain. By blocking these compounds, we were able for the first time to treat obesity developing during smoking cessation. And we were able to use the same compounds to even prevent and treat obesity that is unrelated to smoking. Harnessing the immune system to fight obesity. Who would have believed it? We also study how our diet may impact our immune function. I don't know if you know, but around a decade ago, we discovered personalized nutrition that has since revolutionized the nutritional world. We uncovered at the time that each of us responds differently and uniquely to identical foods, and we found ways to utilize information stored by our gut microbes through an extensive use of artificial intelligence, as, as you've heard yesterday from Amos, to harness diet to the individual in treating obesity and diabetes. But can personalized nutrition also be applied to treat immune disease? That's a very big question. And we recently discovered that this balances between the food we eat, the microbes that metabolize the food and our immune system can drive an incurable inflammatory disease in the gut called Crohn's disease that impacts millions of people around the world. And we are leading a massive global effort to design for the first time personalized nutritional interventions treating children with Crohn's disease from across Europe, North America, and Israel. Now, you may ask a, a very good question. If our microbiome, if our microbes contribute to disease such as Crohn's disease, obesity, and cancer, why don't we just kill the microbes with antibiotics? Well, easier said than done. Most of the disease-causing bugs in our body are antibiotic resistant, so it simply doesn't work. To solve this, we have recently developed the first silver bullet treatment that target disease-causing microbes in our body without harming the beneficial microbes that surround them. For this treatment, we use viruses, but not the viruses you hate now. These are good viruses, and these are called phages. Viruses that are very special because they only attack bacteria. They don't care about our human body. Using cocktails of these phages, we were able to eliminate bacterial strains that contribute to Crohn's disease, just like a targeted missile attack. And this may help millions of suffering patients. And we're also developing similar phage treatments to target other microbes that may contribute to diseases such as obesity and cancer. Systems immunology. Harnessing the power of our explosive immune system to treat life-risking disease for the benefit of humanity. I must mention that this revolution stands on the shoulders of giants. Just like, uh, and, and this includes our locals, uh, Michael Sila, Ruti Arnon, Michal Schwartz, and many others. But this revolution is just in its infancy. New immune cells, New antibodies and molecules are only beginning to be discovered. Novel immune diagnostics that will enable earlier detection of cancer, neurodegenerative disease and metabolic disease, such as obesity, are just around the corner. Personalized nutrition, precision probiotics and fate therapy are just some examples of immunotherapies that are already entering clinical trials. We're super excited to lead the exploration of this new frontier, and we'd love to have all of you as our partners. Thank you. <laughs>